My name is Mindy Johnson, and I'm the author of a new book called Ink and Paint, The Women of Walt Disney's Animation. Walt pretty much reached tremendous success with Mickey Mouse and the Silly Symphonies, but he felt that there was much more that could be accomplished with animation. Initially, the artist used black, white, and about three or four shades of gray paint. That was it. Walt really wanted to push boundaries, and where his animators were being trained in expanding their work, the women went to work with the idea of color. I underestimated this topic. I thought that it would be a charming book about the women and their roles in animation because I had been led to believe that that's all it was. But I couldn't have been further from the truth. When people uh, think of animation today or even animation history, we have a real limited view of where women were. Uh, we know of Mary Blair, Retta Scott, and certainly they are extraordinary artists, but women were everywhere. Well, certainly the, the animation is, is vital, it's important, it's, it's the movement, it's that illusion of life. But what the women applied in color, you cannot deny. These women broke extraordinary ground and accomplished a level of artistry that is just unsurpassed in any area of animation. Very much like the canvas that these women worked on, those invisible cells, their work was invisible. And it's an opportunity to lift the lid on this slice of film history, of world history, pop culture history, and it's told in as many personal accounts as possible. Um, so in their voices, you're getting an opportunity to hear their stories and marvel at the artistry of what was accomplished. Ink and Paint, the women of Walt Disney's animation from Disney Editions. <laughs>